Doing this video is going to cause me gray hairs if I don't have some already. Finding the good things that Donald Trump has done since he's been in the office is, oh, cliche, finding a needle in a haystack. It took me a while outside the couple of things I already knew, but I had to continue to find more and Lord have mercy, that was hell. Since being in the office for two and a half years now, I can count on my hand one hand how many good things that donald trump has done overall the most antagonizing things he has done most recent one he tweeted out something racist and he doubled down on it so let's talk about the good things that donald trump has done now let's start with the most recent one the abortion law Donald Trump has not passed any abortion laws at all. Matter of fact, the most famous and harshest ones are the ones in Alabama. But why am I linking that to Donald Trump? It's not what law he passed because he didn't pass anything. It's actually what he said that I agree with. As most people know, and for those who would like to know, I'm strongly pro-life with three exceptions. Rape, incest, and protecting the life of the mother. And just for a sidebar, those children who were unfortunately conceived during rape can grow up to live a normal life. Now, for those children who were conceived by incest, that's a little bit different, and here's why. Here is some information for risk of incest. According to Psychology Today, the researchers examined four studies on the effects of first-degree incest on the health of the offspring. 40% of the children were born with either autosomal recessive disorders, congenital physical malformations, or severe intellectual deficits. Yikes. And what about women who die from childbirth or just for being pregnant in general? The CDC reported an increase in in the maternal mortality ratio in the United States from 18.8 deaths per 100,000 births to 23.8 deaths per 100,000 births between 2000 and 2014. A 26.6 .6 increase. It is estimated that 20 to 50% of these deaths are due to preventable causes. It's crazy, man. This is why women get upset when lawmakers tell them what they need to do with their bodies. Now, I just put those facts out there just for future reference for you guys to hold on to. But uh, yes, I do believe abortion is necessary. Granted, it's, if it's in regards to rape, incest, and the life of the mother. So I do agree with the president on that one. Now, moving on. In 2018, Donald Trump signed in the First Step Act. For those who don't know, that is the first major reform to our criminal justice system in over a decade. In other words, Donald Trump is for prison reform. With this Prison Reform Act in play, this provides inmates with second chances. This gives them opportunities to be in programs while they're in prison, so that way, once they're all straightened up, they're ready for society upon their release. To go a step further, Trump has proposed a $500 million budget for next year to aid in prison reform. That includes $234 million for the Department of Justice so they can provide support programs for inmates after their release and $78 million for the Department of Labor to improve employment for the inmates after their release. For more details on the First Step Act and what Trump actually said the day of April 1st, 2019, all that is on WhiteHouse.gov. The link is in the description. Now let's continue. 
Now, sometime last year, I had a discussion with somebody close to me about the things that Trump has done. This is prior to the prison reform anyway. One of the things they said Trump has done good for black people was regulation. And I'm looking at this person like, what are you talking about? What do you mean regulations? From what this person told me, regulation is pretty much those people that you see on the street wearing the vest who spray painting the ground. Utility workers. All of that's under the umbrella of regulations. And I'm still looking dumbfounded like, again, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with Trump? According to this person, during the Obama era, Obama deactivated regulation in favor to the environmentalists because when you see them on the street, they're walking around, they spray paint the ground different colors, orange seems to be the popular color, and they stick a camera in there, they just filming everything. Environmentalists didn't like that, and according to this person, Obama deactivated it. When Trump got into office, he basically reactivated regulation. This allows the utility workers to go in your neighborhoods, go in the streets, spray paint the ground a different color, and stick a camera in the ground and just film everything. That causes more jobs to grow, I guess. Supposedly, that caused more African-Americans... Uh, Latinos, just people minority. It allowed them to get more jobs that way. Now, the only issue I'm having is finding that evidence online. I searched, and to be honest, I found some numbers that contradict what this person said. So let's do this. If somebody can... Find proof that took place. Send a link in the comment section because I see all you guys' comments. Send a link. I will look into it. I'll do my research. If everything adds up, I will immediately do another video to give Donald Trump his props for that. So until then, there's only two things that Donald Trump has done right in two and a half years um, based off of my experience and for when i see one he signed into law which is the prison reform act the other one he says something positive on twitter that most people agree with which is a compliment of himself because he abused his twitter privileges all the time don't sit here and lie and say he doesn't so let's give donald trump credit that he deserves will this help him get reelected? Probably not. He has a long way to go, but we'll see. We have no choice. Other than that, people, I am Christopher J. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.